right guys, this is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Zertici back with our next video on how to tie hollow core braid straight to your spool with no tape and no mono, and no glue. As you saw in our last video, we did our solid braid with a bimini, 10 wraps and a loop. And then we did a bimini with 10 wraps and a uni. It shows the ability of having a knot it can move up and down the line to still allow it to cinch down when it cools off and heats back up. When it's cooling down, it creates that micro gap that allows braids to slip on the spool. Now, we are going to do a hollow core braid with a bimini. Even though we don't need to, we're going to do it anyway. Some may not have the rigging needle to do a hollow core splice. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create the bimini. You already saw how we did the uni, but we're going to do it again with hollow core, and then we're going to do the loop at the same time. All right, so here we go. All right, so here's our Jerry Brown, and again, I want a nice big loop on here. I want my six foot loop so I can get my ten wraps. Now, so I can catch a grip, go wrap around my fingers so I can do my 30 twist. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, and thirty. There we go. Now, again, since it's a large, large loop. I'm going to use some of my spooling machine's ability of keeping my line together. And I'm going to continue opening up my braid. Stick my elbow through it. Okay. So now I'm coming down to where I need my tag end and my main line separated okay so right here you can see where it's already nice and tight I'm gonna continue opening up folding my tag in over my main line and it got a little messy there so I'm gonna take it back where you cinch it back down and again once you let pressure off the knot there's the bimini but this is only part of it you still got to make sure to lock it down so what we're gonna do is again I'm going to take one half hitch on the right side, one half hitch on the left side, and one half hitch around both lines. So on the both lines, you're going to do it three times. And now, the final one, I'm going to do what they call the closeout. I'm going to take my tag line in through my loop three times. One. Two, three. Okay, on that one, I'll cinch it down. Make sure that your loop is nice and even. And the way you know it's nice and even, that both of them are tight. Not one tight and one loose. All right. So now that I'm, I've got it like that, I'm gonna cinch it down. And like I said, you gotta be careful because it will cut into you with enough pressure. All right. So. I'm going to cut off my little tag end there. I just like to, with braid or mono, I always like to make a mushroom end. Or melt down the end, should I say. Now that I've got my big loop, what do I got to do? I got to take out the twist that I have put into the braid. Okay. As you can tell, it's starting to spin. That gives you the direction you need to go in order to get it out. Okay. Now that I've got it out there, I want to make sure that all my my loop. I want to make sure that all my twist is out of my loop now. So there we go. There's my six foot loop. Okay. So now, again, here's my spool. There's no. And that shows that the clicker works. 
There's no kind of adhesive or nothing on my spool. It's nice and dry. You can hear it, okay? So, with my loop, my bimini now, I am going to go again through the front side of the spool underneath, take off the clicker so I can turn the spool easier, and wrap it ten times, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now that I've done my ten, see how it's all nasty? I want to make sure I get it all nice and neat on there. So I'm going to pull my loop out of the reel, which also gives me the ability to level off the loop. Alright, now I'm going to spool it back on by pulling on my main line. And there we go. Okay, so now that we've got our 10 loops there, we've got our loop end, as with the other spool, we did the solid, we can take our hollow core through it. will allow us the ability for this knot, oh, and keep it in view, to move up and down the line, whether it gets hot or cold. Now granted, I'm doing this in an extreme fashion of our, this extreme fashion of showing you how much you can slide up and down the line, it's going to be hundreds of an inch when it actually happens when this spool heats up okay so it does add up but not not to the ability that I'm doing it right now what I want to do now is clean up my line real quick clean up my knot stack it all nice and pretty on there just cuz it looks good Okay, so as my, my loop is now coming to my main line here, it's already starting to lock in. And look, just with that much pressure, it won't even let me push all the line against it. I have to move it all in a little bit at a time. So now, you saw where just that little bit of braid was keeping me from going sideways. It's having that same effect on the spool as it's trying to come in. See, now I'm gonna turn on the clicker so if I move it in any way, you'll hear it, okay? So I'm going to gauge my clicker, and there we go. It's already locked in, even though from loose. Okay, I'm going to have to. See, now I'm really, really loosening it up. There it is, loose again. Add a little, pre little bit of pressure. I'm going to lock the spool, and there we are locked in again. It ain't going anywhere. I mean, again, let's test. Love, love testing. That's one thing you'll notice is the more you test things to make sure they're working properly, the better off you're going to be when you need them to be there. So, right there, I'm pulling on it, and the braid ain't slipping. Now, You can see that there's no blood in that finger right there from all the pressure I was putting on it. Earlier it was up here and look, that welt is still there from when I was doing the other braid. This one's from the hollow core braid. All right, and that's just the loop knot. Now for me to get this off, I'm gonna have to back it off and pull it this way. This is the only way this loop, and even then too, you'll notice, look, I'm gonna pull on the loop end. See how much grip it got? And that's just me pulling on that. That shows you that this is already doing its job. Now, I'm going to take my spool back through the loop. And this loop end is the way I prefer to put my braid onto a spool. I don't like doing the uni knot, but some people like it. Okay, so now I'm going to do my uni. So as before, I'm going to make my loop. And I'm going to go one. 
two, three, times inside. I'm going to cinch it down. And I'm going to lubricate it. And again, because this is able to move up and down. If this were to lock in place, it could eventually pop and you can lose your line. So now, for me to continue on, I want to make sure it's all nice and pretty before I go just pulling it. And as you can tell, look at that. There we go. It's already locked in. I'm going to get my hand protection going. There you go. Look at that. You can see how clear that got. That's how much pressure I was putting on it. As you can tell on my hand, yeah, this is this is putting some major, major strength behind that line to make sure it ain't gonna slip. When those guys tell you that you cannot tie braid straight to a spool, you have seen it done, you've seen it tested. Now I encourage you to go out. Get your reels spooled up. You can tie the knot yourself now. This is the way to do it. And get, get at me in a year or two years or three years or four years down the road and let me know that that knot's still holding. That's how confident we are in these knots and their ability to hold. We are a battle-tested fishing team that loves to go out and prove things right or wrong. And when we get them right and they make our fishing abilities better or increase our ability to catch more fish that is great but at the same time too we love it when somebody else goes off and uses our knowledge and goes out and catches their personal best from our family to yours we want y'all to learn the knowledge that we have to share and we would love to see your personal best catches here very soon so this is team hard life albert zertici speaking on behalf of team hard life we are a fishing team that loves to go out and fish. Being battle tested after years and years of making mistakes and doing the wrong thing and nobody wanting to help or people who did want to help, you know, we take it all in for good, for bad. But now we are sharing the good that we have learned with you. So please subscribe to our channel as we have more to offer as this is just the tip of the iceberg of what is coming. Thank you for tuning in today as we covered over your bimini and your 10 wraps to your loop as now this is going to be the front one, a holocore splice and it'll be the exact same thing once you get to this spot and to this part but this is the beautiful part. Alright guys, till next time y'all have a good one.